Welcome back to our channels, Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't had Jeff McCumber, who had one shot, one chance to at least try to fix the California Department of Correction and Rehabilitation, but he fucking failed and chose his pension, his buddies, the money, the power, the title. God saw the whole thing, man. God saw everything. I don't know what to tell you. Smash that subscribe button. Go and have him. Smash you right now. First and foremost, let me give a shout out to the following patrons. Clarissa, Antonio, Justin for Austin, B Forever 26, Don Chicharro, shut the fuck up and make it wink. A la verga, 760, Scorpio Rising, Miss Rod, it's not your way, it's Norway. Buenas noches, keep your shoes on, homie. Golly G Greñas, Geo, G Ride, Boat Nuscum out, the prison psychologist, Fuerte, Mark, Luce, Michigan Wolverines, don't trip, put me out six out. Keep your dick out of my Cheerios. Malverde, AWOL like Monte. The Cali model where over the pants, HJ is okay. Yes. One bad yard panel. Cherokee Cat, the Big Bad Wolf, Raider 62, L. Eli, Edgar, Gerardo, Steven, Rigo SD, Pelon, Eric, not on my watch. Who's doing the pipe? Denise, the real McCoy. I never want to hear you say, I want it, Norway. I never want to hear you say. I want it Norway. I didn't read it correctly the first time. <clears throat> That's why I'm not a singer. Jay, a pogan a six pack. Strip sergeant surgeon Keith. Strip sar strip search sergeant. The Spensa Keith. Devil dog. MCC Placa Ricardo. Mel adjusted. Bankroll Suave. Carmine the Pitbull. American Miss Diesel. Lori 559 CO. Ruben. CJ Zavalza. EOP Whisper. Fuck your 602. Las Vegas Flights Live. Two hots, a cot, and a soothing cup of shut the fuck up. <laughs> Three of these nuts. Lockdown 5. Crystal Bond. It's too early for this shit. La Reina Winston, Tony the Mexican Snowman, El Skid, Hobie Cat, Lead with Love, Elver 12, Cuidado, SCO with the Shower Shark. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh fuck that could be an episode in itself J.I. Theophil Esquiel Big Bad 48 Nova Linda the retired CEO Michigan Wolverine Mikey 559 the homie Marius Chevelle 66 GG Bad Karma and Rags as you can see that list has fucking exploded the only person there is not you make sure you hit that link in the description below you're definitely missing out this episode right here was brought on by a warrior who has recently been promoted to the rank of lieutenant. Congratulations. We celebrate everybody's wins here. From all walks of life, everywhere, anything. A win is a win, man. That's a W. One of the questions that was framed was, LT, did you feel like you had imposter syndrome? You know, you, you promoted to lieutenant. All eyes are on you. It's like, fuck, people are looking at you to make a decision. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Right now, they had or they're holding sergeant interviews for correctional sergeant in the California Department of Corrections. Okay. Oh, my goodness, man. Yeah, I don't know how much years people have, but it doesn't matter. You could have zero years, and this will benefit you. Let's say you have zero years, and they slap some fucking chevrons on you. Now what? Me, personally, when I walked into Donovan, Richard J. Donovan Correctional Facility, I was, I was a brand new face. None of those cops had seen me. Well, maybe the ones that were at Centinella and they recognized me. Hey, what's up, man? But the other ones didn't recognize me. And they were like, good morning, Sergeant. Good morning, Sergeant. Not everybody, right? But hey, good morning, Sergeant. That felt weird to me, man. I, being called Sergeant felt so weird to me. I had been an officer for eight years. I didn't it didn't sit well like I wasn't like oh yeah I wasn't a fucking power hungry manager like the ones you have now I was just like oh it's kind of kind of weird man I didn't tell them that I was like hey good morning fellas good morning good morning um when you promote what I did was I sat back for about a year a one year I about approximately I sat back and I observed I observed my whole environment the whole surroundings, before I even tried to tell anybody what to do. Damn, heck, you're a real one, my boy. Why can't you come be my boss? I fucking probably could, man. Where do you work at? <laughs> I'm a free agent right now. But uh, with the caveat, with the exception of unless something is totally dangerous and somebody is about to die, 
then, of course, you got to, you know, put your foot down and make a decision. But other than that, man, I'm just observing, right? I'm just observing and asking questions, asking the cops questions. What is this? What's that for right there, man? What's that for? Why do they do that? Right. Why are all these... <laughs> Why are all these level fours out, man? The fuck? Th this is a level four yard, right? Yeah, Sarge. I mean, yeah. <sighs> ah, man. Why is there every motherfucking inmate out of their fucking cell on the yard right here? Charlie Yard, RJD, uh, EOP, SNY, DD, Booger Eaters, Helmet Wears, motherfucking inmate Jones everywhere. <clears throat> right. So, and I'm learning. Right, learning the policy, familiarizing myself. And I'm going to tell you, think about it, man. You're a new face, a new supervisor. People do not like supervisors in general. I mean, that might be a blanket statement. But, you know, they want to see what the fuck you're about. I was talking to somebody last week during a podcast. And it's like, you know, what? that has to be a survival, survival mechanism. Uh, if you're being led or you see a perceived leader... They're going to see what the fuck you're about, man. Are you going to lead me to this pack of lions that's going to get me attacked? Or do you know what the fuck you're doing? Right. Okay. Now, what wrong things have I seen people do? Oh, my. Well, let's talk about the buffoon. The buffoon, when he was an acting sergeant at Sentinel State Prison. You start writing up your peers. The hell? Come on. How the hell are you going to be acting and then writing up your peers? Right. Let's say you become a sergeant now and, and you... Now you think in your head you got the power. There's, again, there's different types of people, man. There's some dumb motherfuckers out there, let me tell you. I can only tell you this fucking example. Well, I got numerous ones, but this one sergeant, he did write a fake memo to help the Pollard administration. He knows who he is. He became a sergeant on Delta Yard, my former yard. It's an easy yard, man. Those officers at the time there were OGs. They all bit out, fucking went elsewhere. But OGs, man. Even they had, they were kind of uh, standoffish towards me until they knew what the fuck I was about. Well, I don't know why this sergeant promotes, and in the logbook, one of the officers wasn't listening to him. So he writes it in the logbook. So and so is not listening to me. Why would you do that? That's ridiculous, man. Everybody made copies, made fun of the guy. Then the guy got his feelings hurt. Hey, everything he filed on him, ratted on him. And this motherfucking rat blood in his fucking system. That's not going to end well. You will forever be known as a guy <clears throat> that couldn't talk to somebody. Couldn't get what you wanted done. And then on top of that, you have to go tell. Like, you're the fucking sergeant. Who are you going to tell? Motherfucker, handle it. Right? <laughs> Anyways, that was all wrong. Don't do that. <clears throat> So, Hector, what if I need to tell, what if I need to instruct the officers to do something that is coming from above me? Well, ooh, that's a very good question. I'm glad you fucking asked it, man. See, you don't know what you don't know. It depends, man. I can only tell you from me as my lieutenant perspective. I only cared about three things, right? Making sure the officers didn't get killed. Making sure they didn't get fired. And making sure they didn't get me fired in the process. Right. Other than that, our job is easy. Make sure the inmates don't kill themselves and make sure they don't jump the fence. Period. Period. Correction officer 101. Period. That's it. Save that. That's it. Do you know how much bullshit came down the pipeline? Hey, uh, Lieutenant, make sure you tell the officers not to watch uh, Super Bowl on Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, okay. Hey, uh, Lieutenant, make sure that they don't have any Fabuloso or any of their personal cleaners due to the whole fucking uh, other shit. Yeah, okay. Uh, make sure that uh, did blah, 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 yada, 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 yada. Probably a thousand things I fucking filtered. I filtered, right? I am not going to overwhelm and over, yeah, overwhelm the troops. They're going to fuck up. They're, if I'm bombarding them with bullshit information, they're going to forget the basics, right? Why do you think there was nothing catastrophic? When I was a crisis response team, they never had a negligent discharge on my eye watch, Rico. Sorry, I just been taking jabs at the homie because because he should have just put me back on the team and I wouldn't have been here. But oh well, it doesn't matter. Personal versus business, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. So nothing catastrophic. You gotta hold these motherfuckers accountable. Let's say a let's say a person would have had a negligent discharge if I would have been the crisis response team commander. 
off the team you go. Boom. I don't care. Nothing personal, my boy. I cannot set forth this standard moving fucking forward. It's unacceptable. Gone. Tschüss. Tschüss means uh, bye in German. I was in, lived in Germany for two years. L- now, lieutenant rank. This is a great rank, man. Same thing applies. You don't bombard your sergeant with fucking bullshit. As a matter of fact, the sergeant is the worst rank. You are so busy. I left them alone. I, I did talk with them. I did chop it up with them, build a rapport, bullshit with them on downtime. But other than that, I see them busy. I f- Holy shit, man. Stay out of the way. And since I was a sergeant before, depending on how I felt that day, depending on how overwhelmingly busy it was, there's stuff that I could do as a sergeant, right? And help out. Mugger. Go track down 72 19s, right? Go ensure holding cell logs are com- being completed. Ensure uh, reports are being reviewed, decontamination process, uh, use of force. There's little things you can help out your sergeant with. If you feel like it. Fuck, there's times I didn't feel like it. There's times where other sergeants from other yards would come over and help that sergeant. And I look and I sit back and I'm like, everything's running on the up and up. Fuck it. So... Incident commander, you're in charge. You're in fucking charge. The best way to succeed is to familiarize yourself with all policy and procedure prior. Escape procedures, uh, uh, peaceful protest procedures, hunger strikes, definitely hunger strikes, contraband surveillance watch, definitely contraband surveillance watch, ASU placement, which is probably not a thing anymore. Well, it was. Uh, being a lieutenant and working the watch commander and doing the fucking initial intakes on the inmates. That's a motherfucker. I hated that. You don't want to house the wrong inmate on the wrong yard because then he could get murdered. I don't know how James Hill sleeps at night. That's crazy. So, you guys see, it's pretty fucking easy. Heck, you just promote, you just be a normal human being, you ask questions and you help out. Yes. Well, heck, if you wanted, if you said you helped out, why didn't you help out Davies with all her fucking RVRs? Again, that's her job. That's her yard. That's her fucking work. She was the one getting the Saturday, Sundays off or whatever the days off, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, Monday. I'm your boy at Tuesday, Wednesdays on Delta. Leave me the fuck alone. Do your own shit, right? Again, if you want to help people, help people. If you don't want to help people, don't help people. Did I help officers? Yeah, for sure. Of course. Did I train them all the time, all the time, especially when the body worn cameras came on? I told them they're going to they're going to fire you guys. If you turn that motherfucker off, they're going to fire you guys. Don't turn it off. Don't turn it off. I would rather you get written up for talking shit about the administration than you turning it off and getting fired. Oh, heck, you're the best. No, you're the best. It's it, it's kind of easy, but I can see if you don't know, you don't know. Um. <laughs> This, is, this goes back to the military. If your subordinates, your troops do something good, give them the credit. If something bad happens, you take the blame. I got a good lieutenant, a friend, a friend. And this is the truth. What you want me to say, my boy? This is the truth, and everybody knows it. He used to work ad sec for years, for like fucking eight years as a sergeant and a lieutenant. And ad sec was always fucked up. Well, that ADSEG is always going to be fucked up. But he was always complaining that ADSEG was fucked up and his officers were fucked up. And I said, you know, at some point, you are to blame, man. You are to blame. Ah! (laughs) My other homie was in the army, too. He's like, oh, yeah, for sure, bro. If your troops are fucked up, you're fucked up. If your troops are fucked up, you're fucked up. You want me to tell you, like, at some point, If the whole place is fucked up, it's because you didn't fucking fix it, Jeff. Hello. You had that shot, my boy. God's going to see it. No, he saw it. God is not happy. God is tossing and turning right now. He he told me. He ain't happy with you, Jeffy. With that, man, the message for today is you put on your fucking sergeant stripes. You put on your lieutenant bars. You do not lose your fucking mind. Go celebrate your win with a beautiful dinner with your beautiful family, your side piece, your your Sancha on the yard, your Sancho, go get your fucking pedicure, go get your nails done, go celebrate the win, right? And then come back to reality, man. You're just a fucking person, right? You're just a person. 
If you don't think you are, we can remind you real fast. This shot, that wasn't to you, bro, because I know you're a good person. This is for the youngsters that are coming in. They just dumb bump their motherfucking head. Keep pushing forward.